tonight, hundreds of pounds of toxic gases spewed into the air Saturday night after a power outage at the Suncor refinery in Commerce City. Now, health officials say there's not a risk to surrounding communities. But as Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found, neighbors just don't buy that. Well, in part, and because this isn't the first time this has happened here at the Suncor refinery. In fact, we checked. They've been investigated four times in less than four years for possible air quality violations, and neighbors we talked to are sick of it. They saw a really big plume of fire. When the chemicals spewed into the air near her home Saturday, Liliana Amaro Flores documented it like she often does. Sometimes it smells like rotten eggs. Sometimes it just smells like chemicals. This report obtained by Denver 7 shows an Excel power outage resulted in the release of more than 100 pounds of hydrogen sulfide, a poisonous, corrosive, and flammable chemical, and more than 500 pounds of sulfur dioxide, which can cause breathing problems over time. The company has since been conducting air monitoring 24-7 in the neighboring community, and the air quality readings are within required limits. Do you believe them when they say that the air quality is safe? No. No, I don't believe it. it me. Loretta Martinez has lived here 37 years and has lost track of the number of scares from the refinery. Just last October, a toxic orange cloud triggered road closures and warnings to stay inside. I'm asthmatic, so I make sure that I have close my windows not to breathe it, and I got my vaporizer and embolizer. In a zip code recently named the most polluted in the country, neighbors are keeping a close eye on the flame, always wondering what it's doing to the air they breathe. They need to clean up their act. <laughs> Now, a Suncor representative was pointing the finger of blame at Excel because of that power outage, saying they want to know what Excel is doing to prevent that, to prevent potential malfunctions in the future. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.